So to answer the next question, where does rum come from? I'm going to shatter a lot of illusions for all you newbies. Rum comes from all over the world. Do not just associate rum with the Caribbean. Yes, there's a big rum influence in the Caribbean, but the rum is made all the world over. Even right here in the UK, we are making some phenomenal rums. So don't just think, oh, it's Caribbean, you know, makes the best rum because that's where sugar cane uh, is produced and grown. As I said in the previous video, let's dispel one myth. Some of the big brands actually import their own molasses and sugar cane juice uh, from other neighboring countries, islands, because they do not grow it themselves. So molasses or sugar cane juice, not necessarily juice, but you can do things to juice. We'll come on to that in future videos. But molasses can literally be shipped anywhere the world over. And I've got a list here where I found big rum producing um, sort of countries. Obviously the Caribbean, US and Canada, we've got rum. South America, Australia, Fiji, uh, India, Indonesia, Thailand, China, Japan. We've got Africa, Seychelles, Mauritius, Reunion, Spain, Portugal, Madeira, France, Germany, Scandinavia. And as I said, right here in the UK, rum is being made all over the world now. Now to quickly talk about styles and inherently because like rum in Spanish, let's like just focus on the Caribbean here, going back in the day, rum on a Spanish island would be produced in a very different way to rum on an English style island. So your Jamaican, your Barbados, your Guyana rum is very different to your Nicaraguan, your Cuban, your Dominican Republic rum, very different. And that all typically stems from the types of stills that we used. Uh, as I've mentioned, column still traditionally was more of the Spanish style, whereas pot still is kind of more of the English style rums. And those two, even those two types of stills produce a very different style of rum. But of course, you know, as I've said, experts kind of, kind of uh, don't really talk about that too much now because we have got so many different types of stills, even hybrid stills, even flipping eye stills in the UK, like iPhones, eye stills that can do anything you want them to. Uh, I think, I'm not sure whether they're UK or whether they've kind of come from Europe or whatever, or US, whatever they're doing, but it's this whole newfangled kind of technology. So there isn't, there is, while I still like to classify things as Spanish, as French, as English styles of rums, there is a lot of crossover these days. Now the important thing I would love to emphasize is don't listen to anyone else. Don't listen to me. I'm on this channel. I don't try and kind of convince you to go one way. I kind of try to give you an overriding view of what rum's about. I don't even really like to give rum sort of scores. I kind of want to give you how they taste more than anything because I, the last thing I want to do is put you off a style of rum. For instance, at this precise moment, I, as much as I love, I do love, I've uh, got back into Guyana, I do love a couple of the Barbados, they're not my thing. I'm not a huge fanboy of Jamaican uh, rum, and I'm not massively a huge fan of Barbados, but what has tickled me at the moment, I really do love my Cuban rums, and I really do love what the English, what the British rums are producing as well. So you have to find your own path. Even in my own Discord community, we've got a massive sort of French uh, style of rum, agricole rum contingent. We've got a building, a UK, a British sort of style rums, but then I would say traditionally a lot of them are kind of um, English styles of rum. Your big countries, Jamaica, Barbados, Guyana, those sort of styles, um, and St. Lucia as well, those sort of styles. But there is, you know, people kind of experimenting and going off into different tangents. There is more people coming in and checking out the sort of the Spanish styles of rum. And I really love them. They are very, very different to UK, or sorry, English styles, English, to those Guyana and, and Barbados and Jamaican rum. Because that is the beauty of rum. No other spirit really does that. There is literally a rum for every palate. Whether you're a whiskey drinker and you want to come and drink rum, whether you kind of want to come from some tequila and drink rum, whether you kind of have your own diverse palate. Me, I love my brandy. And there are some similarities for me with cognac, with brandy to rum. There is a rum for everyone. You, there's, there's so many. Then that's the journey, beauty of this journey. Now, if you want to continue on this journey, dive into that video right there because then we're going to talk about what Caribbean rum is.